I'm Alexander Rodriguez. And I'm Patrick Gomez. And I am Enrique Sapene. And I'm just super happy to be with these two guys doing Glitter Bomb. Yeah, Glitter Bomb on LA TV. Yes. <laughs> We met doing Alexander's radio show on the rocks, and uh, then I never saw this one for a while, uh, but then you kind of got an well, idea. We, um, I thought about it originally thinking, oh my God, we went to do his show and the dynamic was so great between the three of us. And I thought, how do we take this to the next step? And I thought, oh my God, there's no talk show about LGBT, Latin X anywhere. There's something here. So I called Alexander and we sat down and we brainstormed and he immediately said, oh my God, Patrick would be great for this, which I obviously agreed the next second. I was more afraid about the pitch meeting to Patrick than when we came to LA TV to the pitch meeting. Okay, he's telling the nice version of it. He's like, oh, we had a meeting, blah, blah, blah. It was four martinis in at the Abbey. He's like, let's do a show. We're gonna be fabulous. That's the truth and it wasn't a sandwich. <laughs> Wait, yeah, it was- It a was a martini. <laughs> Welcome to Glitter Bomb! <laughs> where we discuss the latest in pop culture, entertainment, and news. Uh, the name credit actually goes all the way to Alexander. He just said the word and we both were like, that is genius, yeah. that makes total sense. And that was the birth of Glitter Bomb. So Glitter Bomb, we kind of say it's like a daytime talk show meets a late night show. It's a little bit of a mix of both. And I love that because we can do the fun, silly, fun and games. We can do the hot topic-y kind of, you know, talking about current events and pop culture and all of that. And, I mean, the three of us, once you get us talking, we don't stop. But we've also got been yeah, obviously. We're all very shy. We're all very shy. But I think that what's most important about Glitter Bomb is that we are absolutely 100% inclusive of everybody and anybody. We, I've always said that it's all about a story. When you tell somebody a story or when you do a pro, like a project, like a movie or something, if the story is good, where the characters happen to be Latino or happen to be African American or happen to be Asian, in this case, they happen to be gay. And it's the three of us. So we just came up with this show where, yeah, it's a talk show, but we have games and we um, do uh, field segments and, and uh, we are just very open to just having on with anybody that wants to play. You've been in both Days of Our Lives and One Life to Live. Yeah. How were they different? How were they the same? Okay, well, different times, different coasts. You know, um, One Life to Live was in New York. Um, Days of Our Lives is here on the West Coast. And you know, people say, oh, you have a gay talk show. I'm like, no, I don't have a gay talk show. I'm part of a talk show that happens to have gay hosts. And that's what's happening in the United States right now is we have all these genres coming together, but we all should be one voice, getting to know each other and having open communication. So it's not a gay show, it's a show with gays. What is MJ or Jen's biggest pet peeve that drives them crazy? Oh. Oh, And we have a very unique opportunity. In the LGBT community, there's minorities in that community and sometimes they don't always talk to each other and they try to label each other. Same thing in the Latino community. You know, we're so ready to get in our own uh, corners and we forget that we have to be a united front to get our voices heard, to tell our stories, not just to our current generation, but generations coming afterwards. And we have such a great opportunity that we can talk to so many different communities uh, with this show. Until then, keep calm and glitter bomb!